what we have here is a two-dimensional picture of um, two triangles, two overlapping triangles, and some of the angles are labeled, like this one is labeled 56, this one is labeled 30, this is labeled 50, this is labeled 70, and these two angles are congruent. And what we're supposed to do is find the measures of these angles, M, N, L, angle E, D, I, angle D, E, J, so on and so forth. What we're going to do, we're going to start with uh, maybe the first one and see where we can go, and we are going to label the angles, write them down, and once we find an angle, we are going to put a little check mark. So let's see how we can find the measure of angle M, N, L. Well, this is a triangle, and these two angles are congruent, and this angle is 56. So from 180, because three angles of a triangle add up to 180, from 180, if you, if you subtract 56, you're going to get 124, and take 124, divided by 2, you're going to get 62. So this angle and this angle, they each has to equal 62. We're going to label it here. So basically, we're done with angle M and L check mark. Now, most of the times we need to find more angles than we, than we are asked to find. So we'll go ahead and find out whatever we can find out. Uh, the next one is EDI. EDI would be this angle E D. I. However, um, I can find this angle first, and how do I do that? Well, f uh, these three angles, this one, this one, and this one, these three angles add up to 180. So using that technique, if from 180 you subtract 62 and 30, or the sum of 62 and 30, you're going to be left with 88. So this angle has to be 88. Well, that overlaps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my 88 right here. And that is this angle. So keep it straight. This angle is 88. If this is 88, this angle, angle E, D, I, angle E, D, I, E, D, I, has to be 180 minus 88, which has to be 92. So we are going to write that down right here, see if we can. This has to be 92. Okay, so we did E, D, I, too. Check. D E G. Let's see what it looks like. D E J. D E J. Well, we can't, I don't see a way of directly finding D E J right away, but I think I can get to it. So if this is 88, this angle has to be 88 as well. Vertical angles. And the way I'm going to label it, I'm going to just put an arrow back to 88. So these two angles are 88. Well, if that's the case, if from 180, these three angles, this, this, and this angle, they add up to 180. From 180, if you subtract 50, and then you subtract 88, you're going to get this angle. So from 180, if you subtract 88, you're going to get 92. From 92, if you subtract 50, you're going to get 42. So this angle has to be 42. Let's label it here. OK, so angle B, E, D is 42. Now, take a look at this um, straight line B, E, A. This angle is a straight angle. 180 degrees. These three angles should add up to 180 degrees. So I know two of those three angles. So from 180, if you subtract 42, and then if you subtract 70, you're going to get this angle. 
angle DEJ. D -E -J. So let's let's do that. From 180, if you subtract 70, you're going to get 110. From 110, if you subtract 42, you're going to get 68, I believe. 68. So this has to be 68. Let's see if we can write 68 right here. I'll take that as an OK, okay label. OK, this is 68, this angle. All right, we're done with D, E, J. Now we need to find M, F, E. Where is M, F, E? M, F, E. All right, not too bad. Um, I can't get to it directly, but if I know this angle, 62, and this angle, which is 42, vertical angle, so from 180, if I subtract 62 and then 42, which is going to be from 180 minus um, 62 plus 42 is 104. From 104, uh, if you subtract 104 from 180, you're going to get 76. So this has to be 76. I'm going to label it outside. Well, I don't like that label. It goes over my F. I'm going to label it like this. This is 76. So MFE is 76. Now, I got another check mark here. Now, AGF is the next angle. Well, that's not too difficult. AGF. Note, if this angle MFE is 76, this guy has to be 76 as well, and I'm going to just do an arrow like that. OK. All right, so in this triangle, a, F, G, I know this angle, I know this angle, I know this angle. I'm sorry, I don't know this angle. I need to find it. I know this one and this one. So if I subtract from 180, some of the three angles of any triangle is 180. From 180, if I subtract 90 and then subtract 76, I'm going to get the measure of this angle, which will turn out to be, uh, basically it'll be 90 minus 76, which is going to be 14. So I'm going to label it like this, 14. Let's put some arrows here, just to be consistent. Looks nice. OK. So AGF is another one I found. The next one is JHC. Where is it? J H C. Well, we'll get there. Take a look at it. If this angle is 14, this has to be 14 because they're vertical angles. How do I find this angle? G H L. Well, let's do it here. This angle will turn out to be 180 minus 14 minus 56. If you add 14 to 56, you're going to get 70. 56 plus 14 is 70. From 180, if you subtract 70, you're going to get 110. So this has to be 110. Now, this angle, G, H, L, and J, H, C, this angle, these two angles are vertical angles. So this also has to be 110. So I found G, H, C now. Done. Right here, 110. What about E, C, B? E, C, and B. Well, it's doable. So take a look at this triangle, B, E, and C. OK, these two angles together, 68 plus 42, is 110. These two angles together is 110. And this is 50. If you add 110 to 50, you're going to get 160. And these three angles, this angle, plus this whole angle, plus this angle should be 180. So from 180, if you subtract 110, you're going to get 70. From 70, if you subtract 50, you're going to get 20. So this has to be 20. OK. One more. I found ECB, which is 20. Done. Now I'm finding EJH. Where is it? E J H. I need to find this angle. Okay. Now, 
this is not very difficult. There's one little trick here. Um, we're going to look at this this we need to find EJH EJH okay we're going to look at this quadrilateral J H A E we know the sum of the four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 if you add four angles of a quadrilateral get rid of those points okay if you add this angle to this angle to this angle which is 90 degrees and this angle which is 70 you should get 360 okay I need to find this angle which is very easy to do if this is 110 this has to be 70 label it here now take a look at this from in this quadrilateral this quadrilateral I know it's not perfect I know three of the angles I know this is uh, 70 this is 90 this is 70 so all I need to do is from 360 I need to subtract 70 70 and 90 let's do it right here um, what do you get when you add 70 to 70 you get 140 you get 140 140 to 90 you're gonna get 230 so from 360 if you subtract 230 from 360 if you subtract 230 you're gonna get 130 so this has to be 130 and now I think I have all my excuse me all my angles let's do it right here 130 that's the problem